Hey everybody, you ever wonder how you could get through a job interview using RHB? Well, here's your gear shift moment. A while back, somebody shared this story with me. Dave, it was between me and two other candidates. And I sat there with the interviewer and she said to me, well, why should we hire you? He said, I pointed this pin I had on and I said, because I'm a real human being. And she said, what do you mean? He said, well, I'd have a choice in the job to act in first, second, and third gear. And then I explained to her what each behavior would look like if they hired me for the company. And she said, wow, I never even heard about those three gears. He said, not only that, he said, but there's kind of a code you try and live by if you're a real human being. Number one, assume everyone's intelligent. If you hire me, I won't treat people differently based on the level they are in the company or how long they work for the company or the department they work in. I'll treat everybody with respect. Number two, have passion for what you do. I don't have a passion for getting a job. I have a passion for working for your company. I've researched your company. I've talked to people who work for your company. I've talked to people who used to work for your company. Heck, I've even talked to people who buy products from your company. And your company's culture is a culture that I'd like to be part of. And finally, the third aspect of the RHB code is get over yourself. If you do hire me, uh, I'll try and get over myself and I'll try and stay humble and open-minded. He said she offered me the job and then she said, do you know any other RHBs? Have a great week.